Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about anti-parasitic drugs. So let's jump right into the video. As its name shows that anti means against and parasitic means that against the parasites, the parasites that are responsible for causing infection in human beings. So these are the drugs that are effective against parasitic infections. What type of parasitic infections like protozoal and helminthic? Um, let me tell you what is a protozoa and what is helminth, but if you want to know about them in detail, I've got a detailed playlist on parasitology. Find its link in the description. Protozoa are eukaryotic cells, um, these are unicellular organisms, and helminths are worms. These drugs work by killing the parasites or by inhibiting their growth and reproduction and expelling these parasites from the body. Lecture outline. As you've got a cool introduction of antiparasitic drugs, let's talk about its classification, then antiprotozoal and anti-helminthic drugs. And at the end, I'm going to share some amazing mnemonics that are going to help you memorize these drugs. Antiparasitic drugs. These are further classified into antiprotozoal and antihelminthic based on the type of form, right? So the antiprotozoal drugs are further classified into anti-amoebic drugs, anti-malarial, anti-trypanosomial, anti-leishmanial, anti-toxoplasmosal, anti, 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 anti These are named um, after the name of the parasite, the protozoa responsible for causing the disease. And the other one, the anti-helminthic drugs are classified into anti-nematodal, anti-traumatodal and anti-cestodal. Before getting into their detail, let me tell you something about anti-helminthic drugs. Anti-helminthic drug can be a wormicide and it can be a wormifuge. The point here is what is a wormicide and what is a wormifuge. Wormicide is a drug that is responsible for killing the parasite. And wormifuge is a drug that along with killing the parasite, it expels that parasite out of the body. Anti-amoebic drugs, these are also called as amoebicides. They are further classified as luminal, systemic or mixed amoebicides. Luminal amoebicides act on the parasite in the lumen of the bowel, means the intestine, whereas systemic amoebicides are effective against the amoebas in the intestinal wall and liver. And mixed amoebicides are effective against both the luminal and systemic forms of the disease. Now let me tell you about the antitrypanosomal drugs. They are classified on the basis of the type of disease the trypanosoma is responsible for causing. Number one, the American sleeping sickness drugs and the drugs against the African sleeping sickness. Antimalarial drugs are also classified and they are classified into er erythrocytic drugs and exerythrocytic drugs based on the uh, location of the parasite in the human body. Let's talk about antiprotozoal drugs. These are the drugs that work against the protozoal infections such as amoebiasis, giardiasis, trichomoniasis, cryptosporidiosis. If you want to know about these infections, I've told you earlier that I've got a detailed playlist on parasitology. Find its link in the description. And and watch that out. Protozoal diseases are less easily treated than bacterial infection and many of antiprotozoal drugs cause serious toxic effects in the host, particularly on cells showing high metabolic activity. And antiprotozoal drugs are also prohibited in the pregnancy. Okay, now let's talk about the drugs that uh, are included in antiprotozoal drugs. Uh, don't get scared of this table, it's quite easy. Let's start with amoebiasis. Amoebiasis is treated with following drugs. I've got an amazing mnemonic for that. It is I'm a tiny CD player. I've put A in uppercase letters which is showing that this mnemonic is for amoebiasis. Let's start with I. I is for iodocunol. M is for metronidazole. Tiny. It is for tinidazole. C is for chloroquine and D is for dehydroimetine and PLE is for permomycin. Let's talk about giardiasis. It is treated with metronidazole, nitazoxanide and tinidazole. And I've got a mnemonic for that. It is MINT. Trichomonas vaginalis is treated with just two drugs and they are metronidazole and tinidazole. Let's talk about malaria. It is treated with the following drugs. First one is artimether or lumifantarine, then etovacone progonal, then chloroquine, mefloquine, primaquine, pyrimethamine, quinine, quinidine. So the mnemonic for the antimalarial drugs are QA machines picking car. Q is for quinine or quinidine, A is for artimether and along with lumifantrine and 
for atovaquon and progonal machine m is for mafloquine p is for primaquine and pyrimethamine c is for chloroquine let's talk about trypanosomiasis the drugs that work against it are benzenidazole eflornithine milarosoprol nifertimox pentamidine and ceramine so for that i've got really really amazing mnemonic that's miss v's pen m is for milarosoprol s is for ceramine b is for benzenidazole and p is for pentamidine and also e for eflornithine and n for nifertimox Let's talk about the drugs that work against Leishmaniasis. These are Meltifusin and Sodium Stiboglucanate. The mnemonic for this is Miss Leishmania. Okay, we're just left with Toxoplasmosis and Cryptosporidiosis. Both are treated with one drug. Um, Toxoplasmosis is treated with pyrimethamine and cryptosporidiosis is treated with nitazoxanide. We are done with antiprotozoal drug. Let's talk about anti-helminthic drugs. These are the drugs that work against the helminthic infections caused by nematodes, trematodes, and cestodes. These are the helminths. Helminths are actually the worms. There are two categories as I mentioned earlier. One is vermicide that is responsible for killing the worm and number two is vermifuge that not only kills but expels the worm out of the body. Anti-helminthic drug as we know are classified into anti-nematodal, anti-trematodal and anti-cestodal. Let's start with anti-nematodal. The drugs that are responsible for treating the infection caused by nematodes are diethylcarbamazine, ivermectin, mebendazole, pyrantyl pamoid and thiabentazole. I've got a mnemonic for that. It is Thaya has a dimple. Thaya is a cute little girl and she's got a dimple. So Thaya is thiabendazole and dimple has got D that is for diethylcarbamazine, I is for ivermectin, M is for mebendazole and P is for pyrantyl pamoid. And the infections caused by trematodes are treated with just one drug that is praziquantel. But don't forget we are left with anti-cestodal drugs. These drugs work against the infections caused by cestodes and they include albendazole and niclosamide. And mnemonic for that is really easy. That is N. A and N. A is for albendazole and N is for niclosamide. Finally, we are done with both the drugs. Let's talk about the overall mnemonics for antiprotozoal drugs and anti-helminthic drugs. Mnemonics for antiprotozoal drugs. Mary can play nicely. M is for metronidazole. C is for chloroquine. P is for pyrimethamine and N is for nitazoxanide and also nifertimox. Mnemonics for anti-helminthic drugs. Bugs don't have indigo purple pink nose. B is for benzimidazole, albendazole, mebendazole, and thiabendazole. D is for diethylcarbamazine. I uh, is for hycanthon. It is also an anti-helminthic drug uh, that is used against the infections caused by schistosoma. I is for ivermectin, P is for praziquantel, another P is for pyrantel pamoid, and N is for niclosamide. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You've learned something. If you've got any suggestions, feel free to leave them below in the comments section. And also, if you want to connect with me on my social media, I've got my Instagram, I've got my Twitter, and I do upload blogs. Till then, assalamu alaikum.